Hey everyone, this is part 2 of my re-explanatory of the last layer tutorial for the Mega Minx. And the part 1, which is just the first two steps, was really, really long. It was actually 7 minutes. So, that's why I need to stop this. Um, the third step, which is probably the most time consuming step, not in actually executing, but in explaining it for me. So, um, well, the second step, or the third step, rather, um, what you do, just like a 3 by 3 and you work with the corners after these five edges are permuted, like a 3 by 3 you make it so that the corners are, um, all how you need them to be, or just like this, so they either look like this, that they're solved, or that they just need to be flipped in order to be solved. So yeah, that's what we're going to do for the third step. And first thing I want to do is, now that all five of these are in the correct spot, look around the five corners to check if any corners are correct or just like, the, just like this one, sorry. That they're in the correct spot, they need to be flipped. So, we have this one and this one. And let me show you right now that the first thing you want to do, there's like sub steps to this. You, you're going to look for one. If not, you're going to um, solve for one, then solve for the second one, then solve for the last three. And I'll show you why. Um, so, first, first, let's look for one. This one here, and there's another one here. I know we need two, but let's just work with one. And I'll tell you why we won't work with these two. It's because when when I t um, when since I said that we need to work with two to get the last three, um, the two that we work for um, they have to be right next to each other. So it it could be these two, these two, these two, or these two. They have to be right next to each other. They can't be like across. That's not good. So um, if you don't have anything done. Just do this once, twice, or three times, and you'll get it so that at least one will be done. So, go on any corner, and then use this algorithm. U2, R, UI2, LI, U2, RI, UI2, LI. And you'll, you will get um, at least one that's correct. So. Yeah, if you notice that algorithm is exactly like the beginner's method for the 3 by 3 except that every U and UI, you do two instead of one. That's the only difference. That's why this isn't really challenging. So the first thing you want to do is get to find one corner, like I said, then you're going to get the one to its left um, in the correct spot, but flipped around or in the correct spot. It's solved. Um, so, um, one more thing. What this algorithm does is it move. It only moves these three in um, kind of. It moves them kind of clockwise. So this one goes. This one goes here. This one goes here, and this one goes back here. And if you notice, I didn't say anything about this one. Well, this algorithm cre um, creates a safe zone, and the safe zone is right here. So, um, this one and this one will not be affected by the algorithm, which means that if you're trying to get the corner, if you're trying to get this corner to be correct, you have to make sure that this corner does not belong over here, or else when you do the algorithm starting right here, um, you'll just, um, it'll just move these straight around and you'll get nowhere. So let's check. Green, purple, white, See, green, purple, blue. Okay, that's good. So we don't. So the the corner that belongs here is not in the safe zone. It's somewhere here. In this case, it's here. So um, just in case, if the if it were in the safe zone, what you would have to do? Let me put it in the safe zone. Okay, you see, um, this is the first one we were starting with, and we need to, 
um, make the or solve for the second one, which is which will be this one. And when you start it here, the um, this will be your safe zone. So this corner is in the safe zone, and it's the one that belongs here. So that's a no, that's no good. We're gonna have to use the algorithm to move this to move this eye here and move it back here. So if you start the algorithm on here, um, this is it's in the safe zone, so nothing will happen. So you need to choose another corner. So let's choose this one, cause if we the algorithm will cr make this in this will make will put this in the safe zone, so it won't be affected, and these three will move. You see, and that's good because we're trying to move this out of the way and we're trying to keep this how it was and since it's in, since it's in the safe zone that's good so this is just in case this is just if you have the case where the corner next to the left of your first solved one is in the safe zone so you use the algorithm u2 r u i2 l i u2 r i U Y two L, and now th that corn this corner is out of the safe zone, and it's safe to go back to your original corner. Do the algorithm like twice more, and you'll get it so that two corners will be solved. Sorry, I'm kind of rushing, but I'm a little short on time. So U two R U I two L U two L I U two R I U two now we have it. Now this is now this is solved. This is solved, and all we need is the last three. So, in order to switch these three around, we're gonna uh, move it, move the Mega Minx to our left, and start the algorithm on the corner we just solved. So, and it's okay because remember this is in the safe zone, and it'll just move these three around. So, you two. R U I two L I U two R I U two or U I two R I see now all we have to do is permute the last string or put them in the correct place. And for this step you just you just use your right inverted down inverted right down algorithm and you'll until the corners go to purple on top. Just like a three by three. This is the last step. Alright, right inverted, down inverted, right down. R I D I R D. Then just switch to another unsolved corner and do it, use the algorithm again. And just fix the rest. And there it is. And there we have it. It's solved. And I hope this helped. Um, please like, um, post comments if you still need help. And um, subscri subscribe to my videos if you haven't already. Thanks and goodbye.